we, you knew this day was coming. And the fact that it's finally here, what are the emotions for you now? Is it kind of hitting you? It's real. Well, it's really just all about uh, the players and the experience that they're going to have. And going into a you know big time environment like Oregon is going to be a, a great test for us. Uh, obviously, they're ranked um, top 20 preseason and coming off a great year. So, you know, I think it's kind of a no lose situation for us, and we're just going to try and put our best foot forward and and try and play our game. Colton was saying that you guys aren't going in there to to be the generals to the to the globe trotter, so to speak. You guys aren't laying down. Uh, is that you know something that you try to impress on them? Get ready to play. play well, game, well, not just in pageantry, so to speak. You know, uh, we want to try and you know dictate the tempo as much as we possibly can. Obviously, Oregon's got a lot of athletes, and they can get out and run and uh, play fast and put up a lot of numbers. So. Um, you know, we're going to try and play our game and do the best that we can. Talk about your game, when people watch an NCU game this year, what are they going to see in terms of your game, your strengths? Well, you know, we have athletes to be able to get out and run and, and post up and, and play outside, but you want to play uh, to your strengths and, and, and play the style and the tempo that you want against the opponent. And so that's what we're going to have to do against Oregon. Obviously, they've got a lot of athleticism. And so we're going to try and control the tempo a little bit. We talked to some of those athletes today, Dot and Moser specifically, uh, and your game came up and said because you played with them a little bit in the summer, and they didn't give glaring views about where your game is at now. Oh, uh, me okay. personally? Yes, I will give oh, you a yeah. response. You know, uh, I have no pride left in my game. So, you know, they needed one more guy to fill in to make 10. And so I got out there and got a little sweat in, and that's all that's left. And so I'm not trying to be the man anymore. And uh, as far as that goes, they can have it. It's their time. So I'm, I'm a coach now, and I'm just trying to help these guys, uh, you know, kind of reach their their full potential. Coach, you completely comfortable now? Title a head coach, um, NCU. Talk a little about you know your transition, and are you fully in this thing now? All comfortable, ready to go? Absolutely. I think it's been a pretty easy transition. Um, you know, having a, an assistant like Fred Litzenberger, who has 200 years of experience, has helped me. And uh, you know, we're just trying to take it one day at a time and uh, prepare the best that we can. It's early in the season and you know, I think guys are working hard and you know, that's what's most important. How about the um, depth of this team, Coach? What have you seen so far? I know it's early, but uh, when you see them out there on the floor they practice, what have you seen? I really like what I see. I think uh, guys are buying into playing simple team basketball. And you know, I think that if we continue to improve like we have, I think we'll be very good at our level. Obviously, we got picked eighth in our league but uh, I don't think that's a reflection of this year's team, and I'm hoping that uh, you know guys are going to take that preseason prediction and with a chip on their shoulder and and try and prove a lot of the people wrong. Now, uh, Colton said the Matt Knight Arena may not have played in it, but that's a building that you had a hand in building. Um, have you thought about your first game coaching in there and maybe any nostalgia that might set in from a from an Oregon perspective? You know, I always have a special place in my heart for Oregon basketball and then a great deal to me when I was growing up. And uh, being uh, a kid from the Eugene area and being able to play in front of my hometown fans was was a special time in my life. And uh, you know, I think it'll be fun to go back and, and play against just a, a great program that uh, Coach Altman's building. Now, you mentioned this is program and staff. Who else have you kind of well, I have a great relationship with uh, the coaches at Oregon. A tremendous amount of respect for them, and they've been great helping me out and uh, talk to Coach Ken. And you know, I've tried to stay in contact with as many of the, my previous coaches. So uh, you know, whenever I have a question, if I can't answer it myself, you know, I, maybe I'll pick up the phone and call somebody. But uh, so far, you know, I really haven't needed to do that. But uh, it's early in the season, so we'll see how it goes. Now, uh, you got anything? Sorry. No, no, you're good, man. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, um, some of the guys we talked about, uh, Coach Elman obviously sort of teaches them to bend your knees. So it's one of the fundamental side of where you're happy with those guys coming over and they have that fundamental balance. You know, Colton and Austin have been great. 
they work hard every single day. You know, they came over here for a chance to play, and that's what they're going to get. And I think they're they're going to have success within our program. And uh, you know, I've been pleased with their work ethic and their attitude, and you know, buying into uh, a smaller school atmosphere and kind of taking charge and being leaders. So they've been great so far. They said this roster full of guys who can put the ball in the net. This the next hurdle is gelling as a defensive. Team. Do you see that as the biggest next hurdle? Yeah, you know, um, all new players. Uh, all new coaching staff, new new system, new program, and it's early in the season. And you know, I think today is our 22nd practice, and so we just need to continue to prove, improve a little bit every single day, and, and taking a step in the right direction. So far, we've done that, and I think if we continue to do that, I think that uh, you know, NCU basketball would be a great place to come watch a game. You've, you've talked about since you took this job, your excitement uh, as someone who grew up in this community to kind of ignite, reignite the basketball here at NCU. Do you feel like you've seen that spark in the community? Well, you know, it's been evident so far with people showing up to our, uh, you know, practices and scrimmages. And, uh, you know, they know that there's uh, local guys on the team that they want to come out and support. And I think that that makes it easier. And, you know, that's one of my... My goals is to recruit a lot of local Oregon guys and, you know, have them experience what I got a chance to as a player, which is playing in front of your friends and family. Coach, you just spoke about some of the, the bigger name guys, obviously, the, the guys that came here from Oregon. How about uh, someone else that stood out to you so far in, in your 22 practices so far? Who stood out to you? Well, uh, you know, Javante Bird uh, from San Diego has uh, – He's not going to be eligible until second semester, but I'm really looking forward to getting him out on the court. I think he's going to help us out tremendously. Won a state championship at Lincoln High School. Played with the Twins who were playing uh, Oregon football. And, uh, you know, a lot of the returning guys who are from California, De La Salle, um, De La Salle High School, they're going to help us. And Forrest Stolk, who's from Arizona, 6'10", 245, he's going to help us out. But... You know, it's still early in the season. Uh, people are still finding their roles and continuing to improve. So we'll see where that takes them and where it takes our team.